Story time. When I was building our company and equally important investing in our first video camera, 99% of my attention was on the camera. And yet, I need a tripod and a fluid head. I didn't have a trunk full of cash, so I cut corners. Did that work out? No, not a great idea. Your tripod and head carries the most valuable asset, hopefully safely, and controls how our camera moves, which can be done beautifully or terribly. In a previous video, we featured our tripod, specifically the Manfrotto 645 Fast Twin Leg Tripod with the Ultra Lock mechanism. We mentioned pairing the 645 with both the Manfrotto 608 and the Manfrotto 612 NitroTech Fluid Video Heads. This created our perfect setup for our camera needs. Today, we're gonna to focus on the 608 and the 612 video fluid heads. Welcome to Behind the Feast, let's dive in. Trying to find the right video head can be difficult, even a little intimidating. It's not easy to gauge the size, quality of construction, and functionality, and how it's going to perform for our camera setup while looking at a few photos and online reviews. I know it was for us. There are so many factors to consider when shopping for a good fluid head. The Manfrotto 608 and 612 Nitrotech fluid heads have been a solid performer. We have used these heads hard out in the field. They have been on hundreds of shoots from film sets to factories, construction to classrooms, as well as races, theaters, live action events, and more. Each setup and shot can demand different controlled movements, balance, and sensitivity. We also need to take into account the constant camera changes, movement, and configurations. Here are some of the features we love about our NitroTech fluid heads. So the head has a flat base with a 3 h in 16 mounting thread, allowing for use on all tripods, sliders, jibs, monopods, and other supporting gear. We can pair this Manfrotto with the 75 millimeter half ball or 100 millimeter half ball for use with ball mount tripods, giving us total flexibility with all types of tripods and jibs. The nitrogen gas piston counterbalance mechanism allows for continuous counterbalance adjustment for the full payload range of zero to 30.9 pounds. This allows us to drive the head with just a finger. The upgraded fluid technology enables smooth and jitter-free pan and tilt movements with continuously variable drag performance. Providing further flexibility, the head's camera plate system features a side lock mechanism that allows for quicker and safer mounting on our camera plate and camera load. The 608 NitroTech offers two rosette mounts for attaching the included pan bar on either the left or the right side. These rosettes also feature Manfrotto's EasyLink system for mounting accessories via an articulating arm. Each rosette has a 3 h in 16 port in the center and both Manfrotto and RE anti-rotation slots surrounding the mounting ports. One of our favorite features is the push button light up leveling bubble. This saves so much time. Being able to push a button and be able to see the leveling bubble and get the tripod ready for the shot. This was a surprise feature. It wasn't mentioned on any of the specs and this definitely is a big plus. The 608 model and the 612 model are basically the same. However, the 608 model has a safety payload of 30 pounds and a counterbalance weight of 17.6 pounds. The 612 model has a payload of 39.6 pounds and a counterbalance weight of 8.8 .8 to 26.45 pounds. We have two 608 models for our A7S III rigs and a 612 for our Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 6K Pro rig with our DZO 20 to 55 or 50 to 125 parfocal zoom lenses. Sizing the proper head to your camera is important. We really don't have any cons except for maybe the cover sticker for the light up bubble level. This can peel off over time, so I keep an eye on it and I guess eventually we'll need to change the batteries. However, it's been working great for over a year and it's still bright. To go over the balancing and setup of these heads, let's go to Kenny. Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to balance your NitroTech fluid head tripod head. 
So the first things you wanna make sure you do um, before you balance the head is make sure that everything you're gonna have on your build is on the camera. You definitely don't wanna balance it and then add some stuff to it and then watch it be front heavy or back heavy afterwards. So before you balance it on the tripod head, you wanna first make sure the base plate is in a location that you can actually balance it. A good way to check that is to get a rail. This can be a regular rail that you would use to mount like a follow focus to or anything. Pick your camera up, put it on there and so you know the balance point is kinda in here. But once you kind of know where that is, it tells you where your plate should be. We can make that adjustment very easily. So we just kind of loosen these right here, shift that more forward, and that should be much better. So let's try that out now. And now we're pretty much at good balance right in the center. So now we're gonna put this onto a tripod head, put one side in first, and latch that in. And make sure your tension on your tilt is all the way off because if that's tight, that can kind of hide some imperfections in the balance. So we're going to now loosen the lock and it's very back heavy. That means you want to shift it forward. Now, since we checked it with the rail, we know kind of where that center of gravity is about right here. It has now balanced pretty well on the tilt. So now if you let go of it, it will sit in that place there. But if I let go of this, it should fall forward. But if I tilt it back and let go, it should go backwards. That is what this is for right here. What that does is it kind of adds a bit of a spring effect so that when it's tilting forward, it's gonna try and push it back up. Same thing with it going backwards, it's gonna to wanna to push it back here. So you're going to start to tighten that. Now, if you tighten it too far, it'll start to spring your camera all the way back up and not let it stay down there. So let's, let's just set that to the max and see how that does. So now I'm gonna tilt it forward. So it's springing back up. Let's dial that off just a smidge. Just now we got that set up, if you tilt it down here, it'll stay. If you tilt it down here, it'll stay. So now once you got your counterbalancing and your base plate balancing done, now you can set your tension where you want it to be. If you want to set it so that you're not putting in too much effort, but at the same time it's not too wiry. And now your camera is balanced. Whether it's a big camera setup or a small camera setup, the same principles still apply. Generally, the only thing that will be different is how much you're counterbalancing here with the counterbalancing knob. So with all that, back to the studio. If you're using the Manfrotto 75 or 100 millimeter half ball, you will want to make sure you order a short hi-hat locking handle. If you are going to use this head with a hi-hat or any jib or riser that has limited space. Kenny learned that the hard way, being on a film set and could not use the hi-hat due to the longer locking handle we had. Lesson learned, we have both now. We love the Manfrotto 608 and 612 Nitrotech fluid heads. They are a proven performer, both in functionality, versatility, and durability. They play an integral part on the majority of the shoots, and our cameras and camera rigs live on these heads. More of that subject in a future video. Don't forget to check out the Manfrotto 645 Fast Tripod. Pairing these together is a game changer. Just a note, this is not a paid advertisement and we are not sponsored for these reviews. The Manfrotto 608 and 612 Nitrotech fluid heads are listed below in our affiliate links, as well as other great products we used in this video. Please hit the like button and subscribe if you are enjoying this content. Please comment with any questions and thank you for using our affiliate links and supporting our channel. See you on the next one.